Hi everyone, today I'm here with mid-year book freak out tag. I don't have too much time and I have not prepared any answers so I'm going to try and do it very quickly and with the answers that go to my head first. So let's get started. I know I'm slightly late, I know I'm doing it at the beginning of July but better later than never. So there we are. So the first question is what is your favourite book that you've read so far this year and for me I think without a doubt is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson which is an absolutely fantastic book full of details and a couple of twists that I didn't expect and I can't spoil anything for you but if you've read the third book you'd know more things than I could tell you right now but it was fantastic it was a brilliant conclusion to the books and how everything tied together I really loved it this trilogy was definitely really damn good and the third book I think is the strongest one in the series I absolutely loved it and that was the first book I read in 2023 so that was a pretty good start. Next question is what is your favourite sequel that you've read so far this year and for me that is In the Dark by Cara Hunter which is an absolutely brilliant book. This was the second book in a series and I absolutely love this author. I've read, I'm currently reading the fourth book in a series but I've already read the fifth one, I've mentioned it so many times. But this one was the second book and I thought it was probably one of the best ones in the series so far that I've read. I gave it five stars, it was absolutely fantastic. There's a little bit of mixed media in it. In this book we follow D.I. Adam Foley who is um, investigating a case in which there was a woman found in a sort of basement with a child and there's an older man who owns the house but he claims that he's never seen those before so what's going on this was really interesting it was full of twists and turns and so I, I completely didn't expect what happened and I would think it's one of my favorites in the series so far so it was an absolutely brilliant sequel new release you haven't read but really want to and that is The Drift by CJ Tudor and it sounds like a mixture of different genres I'm so excited for it I got it I think as soon as it came out and it just sounds incredibly interesting I'll read you the blurb an overturned coach full of students all of them are trapped a stranded cable car full of strangers one of them is dead an isolated chalet full of friends soon they'll be enemies outside a snowstorm rages inside each group a killer lurks but that's not their only problem why is no rescue coming? What are they trying to escape from? And who are the terrifying whistlers? Ooh. And so, a locker room mystery, a dystopian thriller, a nail shredding horror, one terrifying conclusion. Sounds absolutely incredible to me. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And yeah, I think this has become like this sort of genre thriller and a bit of horror actually is becoming definitely one of my favourite things to read so I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I don't know if that book will count because I th I'm pretty sure I used it last year as well for the same answer but this time it's the paperback and I think it's called something like Before Your Memory Fades which is the third book in Before the Coffee Gets Cold series and I just want the paperback version to come out. I don't know if it's already come out or not. Hopefully you still will because I haven't bought it yet. And I'm definitely really looking forward to that. It's a really, really beautiful and heartbreaking, heartwarming story at the same time. Like I said, I think it's the third in the series. And I really enjoyed the first two. They both made me cry. It's like a cosy sort of emotional time travel cafe. Um, if I remember there was a lot of talk about cafe and it's <clears throat> focusing on little stories or lives of people who go to that cafe and how they want to travel to the past and they can't change the past, they can't be there for too long, they have to go before the coffee gets cold and so yeah we just get to know little stories from all these people which is really really heart warming like I said and heartbreaking but hopefully if it hasn't come out yet, it will come out soon and I'll buy the third book to match my other paperbacks in the series so that's what I'm looking forward to the most but then I haven't really looked into many new releases so I don't even know what's coming out I don't know if it's anything by my, one of my favourite authors is coming out or not but that's my answer 
biggest disappointment for me that would be Mystic Hadmus by Peter Ackroyd just because I thought it was going to be a really maybe quirky creepy-ish historical fiction but it really wasn't. I DNF'd it I think at page 40. I did really enjoy the beginning. Um, I even laughed it was like dark humour but I was disappointed and I DNF'd it and also because it's such a gorgeous cover I wanted to love this book but unfortunately I didn't so but I'm not getting rid of it just because again it's a really pretty cover it's probably the most gorgeous cover I own that's actually disappointing too that because of that I've got to keep the book but it was not what I expected it to be at all it wasn't it was just rubbish in a way that the plot was not really going anywhere and then I read reviews about the book and it just wasn't anything that I thought to start with that what it was going to be about but it wasn't it says it's cozy and twisted comic and gothic with a show stealing parrot I just found it ridiculous and annoying so yeah biggest surprise I would say the three books in a series that I read in one Sunday which were graphic novels it was um, the Silver Eyes, The Twisted Ones and The Fourth Closet by Scott Cawthorn, I think. And I think it was a biggest surprise in a way that I didn't really read a lot of graphic novels before that. And the fact that I read the three of them in one day was a massive big surprise to me. But also I really enjoyed them and I think it was like quite a, like a gloomy day. And I had a lot of fun just sitting all day and reading those three so that was a biggest surprise and um, I also realised that I think I don't dislike graphic novels I just need to find the right ones and it was just yeah a great experience they were slightly creepy I enjoy the plot and I just found it really interesting and a cozy experience altogether so now I don't I don't say that I don't read graphic novels so yeah that was a big surprise in both ways I didn't quite enjoy I didn't quite expect to enjoy those books so much as much as I did even I can't talk today <laughs> favorite new author I could definitely say it's Cara Hunter because like I said I read I'm currently reading her fourth book fourth book in a series and I don't know if she's written anything else at all but I think in the future when I finish this series I will just absolutely buy anything she ever writes because I think she's a brilliant author uh, her books are really interesting full of details and she's just a fantastic author that keeps you on the edge of your seat her books are never boring and she's good at throwing little details every now and then to the point that you can piece the story together but sometimes you're so wrong and then she'd add another detail that would make you think of something else and then she'd throw another detail that will make you think of something completely different and then in the end you're still wrong which is fantastic I love her newest fictional crush I still don't do those I don't think I've ever done those so again I've got no answer for that next question is what is your newest favorite character that will be Hammersmith from The Yard I absolutely loved him he's so honorable he's so um dedicated he's kind-hearted he's he does what he, what he believes and what he believes in is really right and he's a good team player he's dedicated to his job he's absolutely lovely i really enjoyed reading about him because they're they follow sort of different characters but they're on the same murder squad in scotland yard but the book itself was also really interesting but he's definitely i think one of my favorite characters and it's one of the reasons why i'm looking forward to reading book two in a series because of him because he's fantastic a book that made me cry i think is royal assassin by robin hobb because um, there have been I think a couple of scenes at least in which I cried and they were all animal related so this one for sure book that made you happy I think I'm going with the answer of another graphic novel and that is the seance tea party it was just so sweet and adorable the friendship that the main character created with the ghost and then how it affected her afterwards I just felt happy and it was also not just happy it was sometimes really like heartbreaking but it did make me happy overall and even the style the illustrations it was Halloweeny 
so it's quite cosy, quite atmospheric, quite sweet. I just really, really enjoyed it and it did make me feel happy. The most beautiful book you bought so far this year and that would be an audio, uh, not an audio book, an e-book and I didn't technically buy it, it was free. But anyway, it's a thousand recipes for revenge. I just think the cover is really pretty and it's like a historical fantasy. I've already read it. Last question is what books you need you need to read by the end of the year and I would say just most of the sequels. I'd like to read The Black Country which is the sequel to The Yard. I'd like to read Wondersmith from the Nevermore series. I'd like to carry on with um, Magisterium series. I'd like to carry on with Kara Hunter's books for sure. Um, what else? I'd like to read Dead Voices as well and just all of the other books that I've got on my TBR. That would be great if I could read them. But yes, so hopefully that was short and sweet and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!